Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today we're pouring paint again. <laughs> That's right, we are pouring on a record. It's a bit floppy, uh, but hey, you know what? Records are fun to pour on and they spin really well as well. So what I've got here is I've got my um, Lazy Susan and it's got a couple of bits of tape rolled over so that the record can stick. I've got a bit of tape across the um, hole at the back. I'm going to flip that to the underside. And then I'm going to put that as centered as I can because this tape is not see-through and so I cannot actually see through it. So let's hope it's going to be reasonably centered about there. good enough good enough so we're using my pancake pourer I like my pancake pourer oh the other thing I've got on this is this underneath the top layer of the lazy susan I've got a stick taped on to use as a whoops not a good idea Michelle as a spinner it makes it a lot easier so we're going to use the pancake pourer, we're going to use some Rix Mix, and we are going to just have a bit of shake a lot of this fun. Um, I am really quite liked the mandarin and blue together, they go quite well. Uh, and I've got some black to go with it, which is um, plenty of that left. Got very little white, so I'm not going to use the white. Um, but I am going to put some of my own white into it. Um, I have no idea how this is going to react. This is my spring house paint mixed with flow troll and water. Um, but because I have no white, I need white. I ran out. They only sent me two bottles. <laughs> so this stuff, uh, if you guys have been following my channel, it's a lot runnier than I normally use. But I thought what um, we would see how well it goes on here. Because... I would like to see what it does. How's it getting better than that? So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some blue. Then I'm going to put in some white. And yes, it is going to be... Try to be layered. But you never quite know what's going to happen with this. Um, as you heard, I've been shaking it quite dynamically. This mandarin never quite seems to shake into position. But that's okay. And then we're going to put some more blue into that. So it's kind of like a dirty cut pour. Check out those cells though. Look at that. I love this lapis blue. Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Anyway, let's see what this does. But before I start dispensing my pancake, I'm going to put some black on there first just to give it something to spin now for those of you that are doing this at home and do not have a paint <laughs> space highly recommend you open up a really big box and uh, open the top and the bottom and make it as a set of walls around I've actually got paint on my <laughs> walls around me 
because I haven't done that at times, just like I haven't today. So, first of all, we're going to start this spinning. And then I am going to dispense. And let's just let that settle. Now the cool thing about this product is it doesn't require silicon to be added to get some funky cell action happening. It responds quite dynamically. And let me zoom you in and show you what is going on. Look at that. It is doing its own thing immediately. You don't need a heat torch, you don't need anything like that at all. As I said, it's very runny. You do need to be very aware of your angles that you sit it on to dry. Uh, you need to be very aware of all of those sorts of things. Um, but I like it. I like what it's doing. We've got a little black edge around the outside. You can, I'll zoom back out a little bit for you. Oops, will let me. So we've got a little black edge around the outside, which is lovely. We've got some black bits coming through, but then we've got some amazing stuff happening in the middle with all that blue. I'm liking it and it's just going to keep developing for quite a bit longer um, I am going to run the torch over it not because it's um, going to create anything with regards to cells because it doesn't it doesn't do anything at all but what it does do is pops any air bubbles and there was quite a few air bubbles both in the mandarin and in the white from shaking. So just going to pop some of those. The torch is not, the flame is not touching the paint at all. It's just doing its thing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That is super cool. Let me zoom you in a little bit more if I can. Come on. Um, what's happening? Screen. I don't know what's going on with that camera. Let me change to the other camera. It's not actually letting me do anything, and I'm hoping it is still recording, so that's a good thing. Oh. <laughs> I hope this records. Ah. Oh. Okay. So there it is overall, and this is all the off run, which is actually quite funky too. I might have to get some samples and photos of that, because that would make, wow, check that out. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Okay, let's get in here. Look at these cells. This is so pretty. And of course, I'm going to have to hope it dries like this. The joy of runny paint. You never quite know. 
So if you've been watching my channel for a while, I normally use Reeves Finest Artist Acrylic mixed with Floetrol and water. And my brew is a lot thicker than this. So that's why I keep going on about it being so dark, um, so runny, because it is a lot runnier than what I use. But look at that. I like it. So I'm going to let it dry and we'll see what happens to the recording on the other camera. Hopefully it's all good. So I will be back to show you the dry result in three, two, one. Okay. So we definitely got some change. <laughs> but when I ask for change in my life, oh, I wasn't meaning this painting. Um, it's so different. It is wow. Almost feel like I need to do a side by side how I left it and how it is now. Uh, crikey me. Um, I, I really do like the texture. Uh, and let me, let me give you up close and personals on this. Look at this. So this is where the black has just totally come through. The question, of course, would be, I, what would it be like if I hadn't put the black underneath and this is the thing guys this is what I absolute love about acrylic pouring doesn't that look like some sort of weird sunshine coming through some weird something I'm not sure it just looks weird <laughs> weird in a good way like weird is not always a bad thing um And the other thing that's interesting, and I'm wondering if it's because of I put the non Rix Mix white in, um, we've got some really interesting textures. Uh, it's quite interesting indeed. Of course, that would disappear pretty much once you put the resin over top of it to make it into a clock I do think that that would actually create a very interesting looking clock what do you reckon some black hands that go what color hands would you put on it let me know in the comments <laughs> and I yeah it's so different. It's so weird. It's so unusual. All right. Let me show you what happened with the, 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 cabochons. Oh. Come on, focus now. There she is. I really like that. Depends, of course, which way you hold it, what it looks like, but that's not my comment to make. Huh. So these are very ethereal like them a lot and then so I really like these I really like them 
this <laughs> this is one of those there's this weird like dislike thing going on <laughs> Let me know in the comments, did you prefer it before it dried or after it dried? That's my question. It's not, do you like it, don't like it? It's, did you prefer it when it was wet or when it was dry? That's what I'd like to know. Oh, noisy aeroplane. All right, guys, so there we go. That is my video for today. I have had a lot of fun with this. Um and really like the outcome of the cabochons so i will be dipping those in some uv resin to set them to save them because the stuff comes off glass really easy so i'm going to turn them back over before they stick and um i have another painting coming for you that i did straight after this one and you'll see that in the next video but just um so grateful to all of you so grateful to all of you that sponsor me on patreon so grateful to those of you that use the amazon links when you're buying your cat food or your kids toys um <laughs> so grateful to all of you that just let the ads run while you go and make a cup of tea so that uh, i get my six cents per ad that you watch um i'm 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 grateful to all of you that like and comment um those of you that are subscribed that all all of that helps the the channel grow and more people see the videos and um I, t I really enjoy creating these videos for you guys um i know i'm not doing it as much as i was i'm very busy at work at the moment and um <laughs> what else is possible how much more fun can we have i adore you guys have fun and i will see you in another video bye